Hello everyone, everyone. I am here for Love and Hip Hop Atlanta Season 8 Episode 16. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, you a family member, you one of my peoples, welcome back. So let's discuss Jack, Kendra, and Chandra. So there's been a fire at the salon. And when I was listening to Sharonda talk, I was like, I was confused and I wasn't believing the story always. Things weren't making sense. She says that she gets a call from the police saying that there's been a fire. So she goes to the salon, beats the fire truck and the police there, mind you. And she gets there and one of the booths is on fire. She doesn't know how to work the fire extinguisher, but, you know, thankfully the, pol the, the fire department, they get there and, you know, they clear everything out. But my thing is, I needed to see the whole salon because what I saw, it was just one section, like this one booth caught on fire. Then she's saying how, well, what started the fire was a flat iron was left plugged in, turned on, wrapped in a towel, and put inside of a drawer. I was like, that seems like somebody was trying to start a fire. Because once you're done with the flat iron, you unplug it. That's what I do. Well, I don't use heat on my hair one, but like once you're done with it, you unplug it. And I don't know in what world, now mind you, I am not a hairdresser and don't pretend to be one. But I don't know in what world that you would need to wrap up a flat iron and then put it in a drawer while it's still hot. Like things were making sense, but I knew at some point that she was going to be blaming Jock, which she does eventually start blaming Jock because... Kendra's like, well, you're the manager of this salon. You should take some type of responsibility for this. You know, you in charge over here. She's saying how the girl had just left. So I was like, so that means she left. You were still there. And it was plugged up while you were still there. Like, see, the thing that just wasn't making sense to me. I had to rewind it to make sure things were going on. But she's like, hold up. You're not going to, you know, accuse me over here, Jock. It was one of the ladies that you hired that caused this fire. Now, again, I only seen fire in this one little section. I needed to see the whole entire salon to get the full picture. And I was like, things it just wasn't making sense to me. It, it just wasn't making sense at all. Uh, but I just, I knew one thing, that Jock was going to be blamed for this whole part. But even before the episode came on, I knew that somehow Sharonda was going to pull back and blame Jock for, Jock for everything that was going on. He's just sitting back as Kendra and Sharonda's going back and forth with each other. But like I said, like, you beat the fire truck there and you beat the police there. You got there, you wasn't able to, you know, extinguish things. This flight iron was plugged in, left on, wrapped in a towel, and put inside of a drawer. That seemed like somebody was trying to start a fire to me. Y'all let me know down below, does that what it sound like? Moving over to Shekinah, Sierra, and Spice. Shekinah's asking Sierra about her, her and her relationship with BK. You know, they, you know, was fighting last episode. Security had to get involved. But she's saying how she was supposed to be, you know, she kind of, sort of, but not really seeing um, Scrap De Leon. And she was supposed to meet with him to go to, um, what's her name, Rashida and Kurt's marriage event. But, like, who was who was going to need to get marriage advice from Kirk and Rashida? Like, what do you need to tell me, Rashida? How to stay with a man that he did cheat on you several times and had a baby on you? But then was out here saying that your baby may not have been his, questioning you. But anyways, she's like, oh, yeah, I, um, you wasn't there, but Akbar was there with Scrap De Leon and she tried to embarrass me while I was on stage you know she came out here I was messing with some dude that she was got pregnant by I don't know in what order it was I don't know if Akbar got with the dude and got pregnant they broke up or was Shekinah with the dude and then he cheated on her but either way they had both messed with some dude at the same time Shekinah was with them Akbar got pregnant with them but for whatever reason this has been years ago but Akbar is still mad about this because she feels that Shekinah was in, was jealous of her like she ain't even with this dude no more so why are you hopping on stage confronting her at an event I did not get that at all but I just I'm just hoping once she's seen this episode that she realized that Pooh was, you know, making her do her dirty work just like she did Shay Mac. But anyways, and she's like, 
she should have been home with that baby she had by that dude instead of being out here embarrassing me. Now, I didn't take that as she was talking about the baby. It was more of Akbar's mothering than it was the baby. But Spice take that as we not bringing kids into this situation. That's what you do. That's what you all do. Me, I don't bring people's kids in whatever argument beef you got going up. We fighting. Keep it between me and you. Don't bring the outside party. Don't bring spouses, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, mama, daddy, sister, brother, cook kids, none of that. We not bringing those in. But I didn't see that as it was a, de a dig at the baby. It was a dig at Akbar. But Spice, she on her feelings. Nah, now. this is what we're not going to do. We're not talking about people's kids. She's like, wait a minute. She's telling Spice, like, when you're not in the studio, when you're not out here working, you with your kids. Am I right? Like, no. She's like, um, she may not have kids, but she loves kids. Because she has stormed off. She ain't trying to hear what Spice got to say. Because Spice is like, nah, girl, I'm you know, your friend. I'm telling you, you don't be talking about people's kids. But like I said, I didn't see it that way. But y'all tell me, did y'all feel that she was talking about the kids? She was like, I'm not talking about the kids. I don't know them kids to talk about them kids. What I'm saying is, she should have been somewhere else doing something with them. It's in about her embarrassing me. But she does go on and say that, you know, she got a god child that she loves. And she was pregnant when she she got pregnant when she was younger. And she she knew that she wasn't ready to be a mother. So she had to do something. Now, I don't want YouTube to take my video down. But y'all grown, y'all know what I'm talking about. She decided she didn't want to have a baby. But they, they never knew this about me. She's like, you know, I prayed about it. And I knew I wasn't ready to be no mother. So I'm not talking about her kids. I'm talking about her as a mama. Over trying to embarrass me by some stuff that happened how many years ago? So, let's move over to, um... Kendra is hanging out with Alex and Cena, and Cena has to let her know that she be keeping her ears to the street. And word on the curb is that Jock was messing with Sharonda and the other stylists. Now, Cena is telling third generation gossip slash rumor that she heard from Carly, who Carly heard from somebody who heard from somebody. So you going on? You telling? You telling Kendra this? Like, you heard it firsthand from somebody saying, yes, I was with Jock. Here's a picture of us. I took a picture on my phone so you can see the date and the time of what's going on. No, you heard this from Carly, who heard it from Shekinah, who heard it from Sharonda, that this was going on. But you telling her, like, it's the gospel truth. So now she's mad. She in her feelings like, really? I've been giving Jock chance after chance and every chance I get him I turn around and he been he either messing with somebody he flirting with somebody she ain't got time for this Jack he there to pick her up you know because you know she been hanging out with you know his ex-wife and the mother of his kids they all get along if you know she with him and she get along with them they on like a I guess I don't want to say baby mama because she's not a baby mama play date but like you know jocks women and former women like like adult play day while the kids is in the background type of situation so now she has to you know talk to jock like what is going on i heard that you was out here messing with sharonda you was messing with other stylists but he's like what is good so jock goes to her and like what is going on you out here telling this telling kendra this like it's the gospel truth it's not you getting third, fourth generation gossip and you telling it to her like it's true. She's like, well, why not? Because you don't know if it's true. First of all, you was getting information from Carly Red. Then y'all know Carly Red, she would take a little bit of something, add a little bit of something, take something out, flip it, flop it, and turn it around to a whole new type of situation. Because you know Carly is messy, Carly is shady, Carly is a lot. She heard this from somebody who heard it from somebody. The somebody who started off with Sharonda and truth be told, I don't think Sharonda like Jack, period. Like, she's all, always like, you all up in my business, this, that, the third. You don't like Jack, period, so you probably were trying to mess up what he got going on. Or she, Jack, she tried to get with Jack and Jack was like, no. Now she and her feelings, okay, I can't have you, so I'm going to mess things going to put you. But you going on information that somebody heard from somebody who heard from somebody else, and you out here telling it like it's the truth.
Just messing up people's relationships. Now, I'm not going to say Jock has always been a perfect person because we know that has not been true. He had a full-on girlfriend, which was Carly, and he had, I go, who, who, who was that to call her baby knees? Was it Four Is Rocks or Bonnie Blue? Caught with my baby, be, baby knees. You know, she was a jack of all trades. She was the driver. You know, she was, you know, the tax man. She was a realtor. She was the chef. She the one that does his oil change. She was the one that greased his scalps. Homegirl, baby knees, yes. Her. So we know Jack is not above, you know, cheating on somebody. We know this. But in this situation, and you going on information that you heard from somebody who heard from somebody who heard from somebody. Y'all, I am like greasy right now. I've been putting vitamin E on my, on my face and I put a tad too much on. So that's why your girl's shining right now. So the girls go over there to talk to Tokyo because she's been antisocial. She hasn't been answering any phone calls. She hasn't been showing up to any events. So they're like, what's going on? She's been going through a lot. Like her grandma passed away. Her daddy moved to Africa. Her god daddy, he didn't got shot. He got to have a surgery. She's stressed. She don't have no family in Atlanta. Her mama can't travel because mama didn't have like two open heart surgeries and a brain surgery. So, you know, she's sick and she just can't up and travel. Like, I I mean, my mama's not sick, but I know how it is. Like, I moved to Texas and I have no family here. Just my husband and his people. So, I be like missing my mama. I'll be wanting to go fly, go visit my mama, go fly to visit my grandma. So, I understand she's feeling like being in the city and state. And you don't have anybody close, you don't have any close family by. Like, the closest family I have is my cousin Kendra, and she lives in Dallas, and she fit to have a baby. So, I, it's like Dallas and Houston, that's not a hop, skip, and jump away. So, I already have to understand how she feeling. Like, she lonesome out here. She ain't got her family out here. She ain't got nobody. Like, I just would like to go just, you know, just chill with my mama and not do nothing. I would love to do that. Like, right now, I would. So, I understand what she's going through. She just, she's stressed and she's depressed. Now, okay. Carly says she don't really, she wants to go to KK's book signing, but, you know, she used to, not even a long time, but not even for real, for real, used to see Scrap De Leon. And she doesn't think it's a good idea. She go there, people see them at the same event, and people gonna be speculating. Like, you know how people be out here gossiping. I was like, yes, you, you be out here gossiping, Carly. The nerve. I, I just, it just tickled me. I was just like, y'all know how people be talking, and then it'll get back to Mo, and I just, a whole lot of drama. But she goes anyway, and she's acting, go, oh, I am so in love. Look at the ring, look at the ring. You know, we're setting up, you know, getting married, you know, the details and all set in effect. I'm like, last time we seen you and Mo together, he was walking out because you was making it seem like he was being abusive towards you. Had you on curfews and whatnot. And that you were scared to listen to music. Like you were scared to almost talk. That's what we've seen the last time we've seen of you and Mo. And Scrap De Leon and Sass was looking like, what's wrong with her? Shut I don't know. If she's walking out, she is confronted by Jock. Now Jock wanna know why is he why is she causing problems between him and Kendra? I'm not all up in your business messing up with what you got going on with Mo. And she goes on, well, what about that whole foot thing? Like, he said this, like, how many episodes ago? And you didn't even, you that didn't even cause problems with you and Mo. What caused problems with you and Mo is because he may have got somebody pregnant before he met you when you kicked him out. So, we not going to sit here and blame Jock for what the mess you got going on. We just not going to do that. Like, I, at this point, I don't think Carly wants to keep a man more than one season because she wants to get a new man for the next season. When have we seen Carly with the same man for more than one season? Because every time it is like, the next man, he is the best thing since sliced bread. This, we, this started out with Benzino, then we went to Jock, we had a little bit of life, we went back to Jock, we had to do last season, and now we have Mo. So, we're not going to do that. So, um, 
he knows that her, but he's saying his confession. I know that her relationship ain't the best right now. Word on the street is these two got some mess going on, you know. And misery does love company, but don't bring me, don't bring me into the misery of what you got going on. Now she blaming she kind of. Well, she kind of was the one to say that. Yeah, she kind of told you that. Because she wanted to lift you up and, you know, give you some little gossip because you was out here being depressed. And she figured the only way you happy is when you being messy and you're out here gossiping about somebody. But you took that to Cena, which got back to Kendra, which got back to Jack. And this is why he's confronting you. Then she got to, she get the spaz and not talking about something. Well, I'm just going to be like, me and Jack never dated. Me and Jack never dated. And I was like, hold up now. Hold up now. It's like your wheels were spinning, like you was like popping out of like becoming a step for wife. You was passing out. Jock didn't know if the mollies was kicking in or what. Cause you was doing all this and doing all that. Like, I'ma just say, I never did a job. I never did a job. I was like, oh, oh, hold on now. We don't want you flipping all the way out now, Carla. Like, Calm it down. I'm bring it now. I need you to bring it down to here. Okay. So she walk off with like, okay, I guess the mollies is kicking in. Okay, but he he was heated. Like you out here. You know, messing up my whole entire life off of some he said, she said stuff. Lastly, Imani, she just want her whole family to be there at her 14th birthday. That is it. I want my mama there. I want my daddy. I want step parents there. That means step grandma and grandpas, step uncles. I need my whole family there. I'm going to need y'all adults. To whatever drama and mess y'all got going on, I'm going to need y'all to leave that at the door because this is my day. I'm turning 14. I want the whole crew there. Can we just have that, okay? That's all I want is my whole family there. And I'm like, when it's a child's birthday, y'all need to leave that mess at the door and be there for the child. Step parents and all. So, that was the gist. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It's free all day, every day, free 99. Make sure your notifications are on so when my beautiful face puts up a new video, you will know about it. If you're returning, you a family member, you one of my peoples, welcome back. Tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples. And this is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.